An engineered materials arrestor system, engineered materials arresting system EMIS, or arrestor bed is a bed of engineered materials built at the end of a runway to reduce the severity of the consequences of a runway excursion. Engineered materials are defined in FAA Advisory Circular No. 155220-22B as high-energy absorbing materials of selected strength, which will reliably and predictably crush under the weight of an aircraft. While the current technology involves lightweight, crushable concrete blocks, any material that has been approved to meet the FAA advisory circular can be used for an EMIS. The purpose of an EMIS is to stop an aircraft overrun with no human injury and minimal aircraft damage. The aircraft is slowed by the loss of energy required to crush the EMIS material. An EMIS is similar in concept to the runaway truck ramp made of gravel or sand. It is intended to stop an aircraft that has overshot a runway when there is an insufficient free space for a standard runway safety area RSA. .Multiple patents have been issued on the construction and design on the materials and process. FAA Advisory Circular 155220-22B explains that an EMIS may not be effective for incidents involving aircraft of less than 25,000 pounds weight. It also clarifies that an EMIS is not the same as a stopway, which is defined in FAA Advisory Circular 155313A, Section 312. As of May 2017, the International Civil Aviation Organization has been working on developing a harmonized regulation regarding arresting systems. Research projects completed in Europe have looked into the cost effectiveness of EMIS. Although arrestor beds have initially been installed at airports where the runway safety areas are below standards, their ability to stop aircraft with minimal or no damage to the airframe and its occupants has proven to bring results far beyond the cost of installations. The latest report, Estimated Cost-Benefit Analysis of Runway Severity Reduction Based on Actual Arrestments shows how the money saved through the first 11 arrestments has reached a calculated total of US$1.9 billion, thus saving over $1 billion over the estimated cost of development R&D, all installations worldwide, maintenance and repairs reaching a total of US$600 million. The study suggests that mitigating the consequences of runway excursions worldwide may turn out to be much more cost effective than the current focus on reducing the already very low probability of occurrence. <laughs> United States installations The FAA's design criteria for new airports designate runway safety areas RSAs to increase the margin of safety if an overrun occurs and to provide additional access room for response vehicles. A United States federal law required that the length of RSAs in airports was to be 1,000 feet 300 meters by the end of 2015, in a response to a runway overrun into a highway at Teterboro Airport in New Jersey. At airports built before these standards were put into effect, the FAA has funded the installation of EMIS at the ends of main runways. The minimum recommended overall length of an EMIS installation is 600 feet 180 meters, of which at least 400 feet 120 meters is to consist of the frangible material. As of April 2019, ESCO's EMIS is installed at 112 runway ends at 68 airports in the United States, with plans to install three EMIS systems at two additional U.S. airports and runway safe EMIS is installed at four runway ends at one airport in the U.S. The FAA found that pilots are trying to avoid the EMIS and steer to the grass sides in 30 to 40 knots 56 to 74 kilometers per hour 35 to 46 miles per hour low energy events in order not to make the news Topic Non-U.S. installations Of the 15 non-U.S. installations, eight were provided by Zodiac Arresting Systems, two in China, two in Madrid, one in Taiwan, two in Norway and one in Saudi Arabia, six were provided by RunwaySafe, one in Switzerland, and three in overseas departments of France, one in Reunion Island, two in Mayotte, one in Japan and one in Germany. One provided by Hanka, China. Topic. FAA approved manufacturers 
As of February 2018, there were three recognized EMIS materials from two manufacturers worldwide that meet the FAA requirements of Advisory Circular 150-5220-22B, engineered materials arresting systems for aircraft overruns. The FAA must review and approve each EMIS installation. The first, original EMIS was developed in the mid-1990s by Zodiac Arresting Systems then known as ESCO, Engineered Arresting Systems Corp., as part of a collaboration and technical acceptance by the FAA. EMASMAX fourth generation EMIS arrestor beds are composed of blocks of lightweight, crushable cellular concrete material, encased in jet blast resistant protection, designed to safely stop airplanes that overshoot runways. Zodiac's latest, most durable EMIS is installed on over 110 airport runways at over 65 airports on three continents. Zodiac's EMIS has undergone intense testing, including several live aircraft test runs at speeds up 55 knots 102 km per hour, 63 miles per hour, and is the world's first and only EMIS that has safely stopped aircraft in real emergency overrun situations at commercial airports. Zodiac stopped production of EMIS systems as the U.S. market slowed down and competition got too hard in the international market. The Swedish company Runway Safe AB developed an EMIS system, a foamed silica bed made from recycled glass and is contained within a high strength plastic mesh system anchored to the pavement at the end of the runway. The foamed silica is poured into lanes bounded by the mesh and covered with a poured cement layer and treated with a top coat of sealant. The third approved material is a patented foam material designed by Zodiac as an alternative to the existing cellular concrete core material. There is a third manufacturer, certified by the Chinese CAAC, with a product that is very similar to the original one of Zodiac ESCO, but is not FAA approved. Topic: Incidents. In May 1999, a Saab 340 commuter aircraft with 30 persons aboard overran the runway at JFK. In May 2003, a Gemini Cargo MD-11 cargo aircraft with three persons aboard overran the runway at JFK. In January 2005, a Boeing 747 cargo aircraft with three persons aboard overran the runway at JFK. In July 2006, a Mustair Falcon 900 business aircraft with five persons aboard overran the runway at Greenville Downtown Airport in South Carolina. In July 2008, an Airbus A320 commercial airliner with 145 persons aboard overran the runway at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. On 19 January 2010, a Bombardier CRJ-200 commercial regional airliner with 34 persons aboard overran the runway at Yeager Airport in Charleston, West Virginia after a rejected takeoff. On 1 October 2010, a G-4 Gulfstream business aircraft with 10 persons aboard overran the runway at Teterboro Airport in Teterboro, New Jersey. On 2 November 2011, a Cessna Citation II business aircraft with five persons aboard overran the runway at Key West International Airport in Key West, Florida. In October 2013, a Cessna 680 Citation business aircraft with eight persons aboard overran the runway at Palm Beach International in West Palm Beach, Florida. In January 2016, a Dassault Falcon 20 aircraft with two persons aboard overran the runway at Chicago Executive Airport in Chicago, Illinois. In October 2016, a Boeing 737 aircraft with 37 persons aboard, including Republican vice presidential candidate Mike Pence, overran the runway at LaGuardia Airport, New York. In April 2017, a Cessna 750 Citation aircraft with two persons aboard overran the runway at Bob Hope Airport in Burbank, California. In December 2018, a Boeing 737 aircraft with 117 persons aboard overran runway 8 at Bob Hope Airport in Burbank, California. 
On 27 February 2019 an Embryophenum 100 operated by Quest Diagnostic Laboratories overran a runway at the Charles B. Wheeler Kansas City Downtown Airport at 4.28 am local time resulting in the safe stopping of the aircraft with the pilot being the only occupant aboard. Additional media coverage of Emma's statistics, installations, and general news include after the 8th of December 2005 overshoot of Southwest Airlines flight 1248 at Midway International Airport in Chicago, Illinois, which is located in a heavily congested area, an EMIS was installed on RWY-13C, 31C. On the 13th of October 2006, New York Yankees player Alex Rodriguez's private jet was brought to a halt safely by the EMIS installation at Bob Hope Airport in Burbank, California. The system was installed after the 2000 Southwest Airlines Flight 1455 runway overshoot that injured 43 passengers and the captain. On 1 May 2017, the FAA issued a summary citing 12 incidents of aircraft stopped by EMIS, involving a total of 284 passengers and crew. See also Arresting gear.